children's show host Tracy Knapp was shot and killed last night. That's correct! I'm gonna find out once and for all who shot Tracy Knapp. Tracy was born Albert Frederick Knapp II on July 19, 1943. My first memory of my cousin Tracy was in his, his father's restaurant, Knapp's Sausage House. Tracy and I, I think we were both three at the time, and, and I remember his father, Mr. Knapp, screaming at me to get out of the kitchen because I, I had lice. And at the same time, he's, he's, he's screaming at Tracy to get in the kitchen because Tracy had to start up the deep fryer because Tracy actually worked in the restaurant. Homeschooled by his father, he was taught the ABCs of restaurant management from birth. Unfortunately, he was never taught the actual ABCs. I do not see the need to invest in education on this boy. He need only run a restaurant until his death and nothing more. Besides, he will surely fail at all he attempts in life, and I make sure to tell him so daily. <laughs> With regards, Albert Knapp Sr. Mr. Knapp was just a wonderful man, a wonderful man. He hated children and, and fun, but he knew that they were good for business. He hired this, this clown to entertain the customers. You know, I remember one afternoon that uh, yeah, there was this disagreement about money uh, in, which, in which Tracy witnessed his father beaten almost unconscious by this clown with, with this oversized shoe. I think from that moment on, Tracy made a decision what he wanted to do with the rest of his life. He wanted to be a clown. But there was no avoiding his father's plans for him at the restaurant, so Tracy spent the next 20 years imagining that his customers were his audience. Until, in January of 1965, his father lost his battle with old age. He was 54. Shortly after, Tracy left the restaurant to follow his own dreams of becoming a clown, and the Knapp family never forgave him. Who do you think shot Tracy Knapp? You know, I don't know, and I don't care. I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead, but I'm not saying that I'm upset that he's not alive. I'd only been in San Francisco two days of our one-month visit, and already it was clear that Jim Knapp was right. It was no secret that his father had more enemies than friends. However, it was starting to become clear that Jim Knapp had some secrets of his own. Did you ever think about going into children's entertainment yourself? Like, um, was it Gallagher? As, uh, his brother does Gallagher too. You could do, like, Tracy too. <laughs> No, no, I, you know, I, I don't. I, I'm different than my dad. You know, I, I don't think I'm gonna be getting, giving a, you know, bank job sure. to do that mm -hmm. kind of thing. It, it, it's, it's a different. Do you know that girl? Uh, no. All right, that's it, Rick. I've never seen her before in my life. I don't know. Maybe we should finish the interview inside. Is that okay? Can we do that? Okay. Come on, Tiger, let's go. Come on, buddy. Uh, Tracy, I actually met on the uh, TV Legends tour. I, of course, was um, on the hit 1980s show. Uh, this time I mean it. Ronald, did you get paint on my new rug? No, Mr. H. That paint's always been on that rug. <laughs> Most people don't realize the fact that I started that role early 20s, carried on almost to my uh, almost to my 30s. The uh, director always told me I had a real childlike quality. For me, I think it just came down to the fact of having a really big heart and little tiny legs. Ronald, did you get paint on my new rug? Tell me the truth, and this time I mean it. Ah, uh, you say that every time. <laughs> After Tracy left the family restaurant, he ended up going out to California and enrolled himself in clown college. He met two other clowns, and together they formed the famous trio, the Goofron Gang. And with that, Albert Knapp forever became Tracy the Clown. 
The Goof Around gang split up in 1972, but it wasn't long until Tracy was offered the opportunity to reach an audience much larger than he'd ever imagined. 